probably 10.30, probably more, maybe 11. It was 4 degrees this morning, light snow. My sled's packed. And I'm gearing up. Loving them so far. Oh, I haven't even used them. Nice powder. There's a 16 inch base, and uh, there's probably six inches of powder on top. Light snow now. There you have it. These are, uh, I'm even more impressed with these. I hit slush twice and it took me 45 minutes to get out of that. <clears throat> my skis are clean, my sled's clean, and I'm resting here and some powder, but there's slush underneath. I hit it twice now and I see no snowmobile activity either so I'm, I'm assuming that the lake is pretty saturated um, it's just over almost halfway I, I can't um, I can't physically risk hitting another patch or two of slush and then have to set up camp. Oh how I dream of doing this trip. I know how enjoyable it is. But physically I mean I'm sure I can be in better shape but I'm not a 
not that I'm not physically active, but getting out of a patch of slush is rough. So, I'm throwing a towel in, unfortunately, and going home, heading back. I'm disappointed in myself. The only thing I have are dreams. I'm, uh, I'm at the road. <clears throat> I still got to go back and get my sled. It's right down at the bottom of the, the lake bank. But I'm pretty disappointed. Unfortunately, I don't have the energy to set up camp and, and obtain wood. Not that I can find any dry wood around here anyways. But I can't get to my wood stash on the other side of the lake. I'm going to have to figure something out. for next year or for the future because I enjoy just having camp set up quiet and it's snowing right now and the wood stove going I need a piece of property It's a little scary when you're out on the lake by yourself and your sled feels like concrete. You can't move it. it. Happened twice. 